Howdy, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with Chapter 15, Far Above the Call of Duty for LEGO City Undercover. That's right, we got the final chapter and the final special assignment, which happens to be called Fly Me to the Moon. This is the story version, however, we do pick up a couple of character tokens and a couple of ghoul bricks, as well as getting the trophy achievement for completing the chapter. Now, shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with this copy of LEGO City Undercover, but let's go ahead and load up Chapter 15 and get this out of the way so we can get on to the collectibles and free! Play. Professor Kowalski, don't worry. I'm going to get Natalia back. Uh, thank you, Chase. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when? I meant when. Sweet. So we just got to get on over to the launch pad because we are already on Apollo Island. And I kind of run around in circles like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? But then all of a sudden, this nice little lady here pushes a little button and gives a little beep boop 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 and opens the gate. And look at that. We have officially made it inside the Apollo Island grounds. And now, oh, if I can keep it together here. That's right. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Got to keep it all the way together, all the way up top to follow this green ghost stud trail. Now, this does get a little confusing as it does kind of guide you to the backside. And, well, maybe I just made a little boo-boo. But essentially what we need to do is get up top uh, ground level. And uh, somewhere around there, one of those sides actually has a ladder that we can climb up to get onto the uh, next layer above us. So let's see here if we can find it. So I jump and go over to the right-hand side. And I run up this little ramp after I jump over these pipes. And let's see, what do we find? Oh, it's not the ladder we need. There's a couple of items here, but turns out it's actually around the corner right here. So, booyaka shall. We found the ladder to get up top. And, of course, uh, if you jumped across the other side, you could use your jetpack to get across the gap there. But once you get all the way up top here, it's going to cue off a little cinematic moment that, uh, well, the camera pans back and shows us this weird kind of obstacle course. Now, uh, if you didn't already, feel free to click the follow button on Instagram down below in the video description. We do have links to go over to our social pages, and we would greatly appreciate your support. But... As you probably noticed, there is a 50,000 brick build requirement in order to build that space shuttle. And we're going to show you where five super bricks are right here in this obstacle course. So make your way on over up the ladder and pull out your grapple hook so you can grapple your way up to the, I guess it's the third floor here. And then we got to switch on over to our astronaut because he's got the old jetpack and we can jetpack our way across these gaps. And look at that, there is a twirly pole there, but before moving along, we want to go ahead and use this spice crate! Spice crate! And that's right, you got to match up the colors here, and do I get this one right? You know, I promised you that I was going to mess one of these up at some point, and... Oh, did I strike out once, twice, oh, three times? Nope, third time's a charm, that's right. The old rule of three applies to my gameplay apparently now, too, but... Check it out. We're going to go ahead and shoot the moon. And once we do, it drops down a brick, which wasn't there just a second ago. So use the twirly pole to get up to that next ledge. And then use the little slider part to drop down into that area. And look at this. We've got some studs leading up top. So we're going to follow those on just as we expected. There is a little tight pants, tight rope area that we can walk on. And that's right. Try to keep your balance and weeble wobble your way out there. And look at that. We officially have enough in our total bank. But hey, you might not have had some bricks when you showed up here. So we're going to go ahead and get a whole bunch. And oh, no, I almost plummeted to my doom. This was kind of tricky with the old astronaut suit on. So you might want to switch to a different character. However, the old jetpack might come in handy if you fall. Because you can see I actually saved myself from falling all the way down by using the jetpack. So once you get all the way across to the top right, go ahead and scale the blue pipes all the way to the very tip top of this weird... Uh, I guess that's a tower of some sort. Not sure what its purpose is other than making us climb a long ways out of a way to get that super brick. But once you get it, go ahead and drop down. And oh, no, you got to be careful when you drop down, though. You don't want to fall too far as you might have to work your way back up. But right on that next level below us, when we land, there happens to be a teleporter. So we beamed ourselves up one level and grabbed that next super brick. So that's actually three. Wait, one, two. Three, four. That's four super bricks already. So the fifth one is going to be right down below us here. You might have noticed that there is a, a crowbar spot. We're going to go ahead and switch on over to our robber edition of Chase McCain and plow that door open with our crowbar. That's right. 
I never really understood. Why, why, I should have looked that up. Why do they call it a crowbar? Any ideas? I, I, I'm going to have to go look that up. I'm sure some of you will drop some comments down below, but uh, I, that's something I should know, and I don't. But we officially have 50,000. In fact, we got a whole bunch more than that. But we're going to go ahead and get our... Oh, look at that. It's building up this giant space shuttle. Now all we have to do is wait for it to get built, collect our gold brick. We're also going to get a character token. I know I told you that we got two character tokens. Here's one of them. As far as I can tell, this is story related and you cannot avoid it whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and collect that. Thank you very much. And we'll take that gold brick too. Because well, you know us. We love us some gold. Next up, we got that gold floating police crest that we need to make our way up to. So we're going to go ahead and, well, collect all these blues because got to catch them all. Got to get them all. And look at that. All right. So we're going to need to use the ladder to get up top. And then, of course, we're going to need that grapple or one more time. So get connected to that plug and work your way up top. Now, wait, wait. You go. Oh, that's right. We got to. Right, see, I tried to cheat here. Unfortunately, you couldn't get up there. And you can't even grab that twirly pole. That would have been nice. That's right, developers. It would have been nice if we would have had a little bit of a shortcut there. That's all right, though. It's not too hard. We get up here, and now we got this new ledge that we can walk out onto and hop into the old police crest. And what do we got? What do we got? Oh, right. It's special assignment 15. Fly me to the moon. And that's just what we're going to do. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this cutscene. And I guess check out special assignment 15. Oh, yeah. Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9. We do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. Convenient. I'm coming to get you, Natalia. So wait, we are officially inside, well, we're inside the, the force field. And oh, he's, he's talking about, well, I don't feel any lighter, but it uh, must have been them cookies I ate. I, you know, the humor in this game has been off the charts. Like, I got to give props to the dev team and the writers behind this. This has been an, a phenomenal game. Like, and I don't know how many changes or improvements they made from the original Wii U and 3DS versions, but... This has been a delightful experience, and we're we got lots ahead of us too. That's what's awesome. So, uh, yeah, whoa! Watch out for that step. It's a doozy. So, uh, if you missed out, we actually smashed a couple of boxes and built up a switch, which allowed us to get up top. Once we got up top, we actually used our jetpack to fly from one side to the other, which we actually fell, unfortunately. But uh, we got to this middle uh, area here, and there's a couple of bad guys. And we also noticed there's another jetpack jumper spot. So we'll go ahead and do a little cha 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 cha. And then, of course, get our jetpack out. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, shoot, with all the technology and stuff that they have, I hope that we get jetpacks soon. Like, I would love to have my own little jetpack. I would fly everywhere. Like, you know, I'd even buy a quadcopter. Like, I, I've heard of these, like, quadcopters that they're going to have for people, like these single and two people uh, drones that you can fly, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Like, I've seen some prototypes and some videos and things like that, but uh, I think we're still a ways out. But I gotta be honest, it would be pretty cool if it showed up sooner than later. Speaking of showing up sooner than later, uh, we have made it up top. It's pretty simple to get all the way up here. Once you're up here, we gotta smash a box on the far left side, which reveals some dynamite, which we slam dunked into that brown barrel and blew up that silver door. It allowed us to get inside this weird kind of biodome here. And uh, hopefully we don't run into Polly Shore, because uh, 
He's an old buddy of ours, and uh, we'd probably get caught up in conversation. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, we actually blasted out of the biodome. We are up onto another level here. That's right. Another level, man. And we've got a couple of red switches in the back indicating that we might need to use a color gun at some point. So uh, where, oh, where is a color gun wheel? We'll find one, I promise. We'll find one of those swappers and we'll use it. Now, speaking of which, we're actually going to uh, have a f preparing for free play video that we'll do after this. It'll be before our free play series. And in that, we're actually going to go and find the red brick for the color gun swapper. Now, that basically is going to help us always have the right color. And it's going to prevent us from having to go and find, you know, like a color swapper in the future. So if you don't already have it, we will show you how to get it in a future video. That'll be the one right after this. Now, uh, it's important, too, that here in a little bit, we're actually going to be flying and uh, kind of gliding through the air, going through a whole bunch of rings, like stud rings, and, and kind of flying from space down back down to Earth. And when we do that, we have an opportunity to pick up the Rex Fury token. And we're going to go ahead and grab that as well. Honestly, I'm not sure you can even avoid it, but he is going to be our strong character for all of our free play stuff too. So make sure you grab that, otherwise you're going to have to play this level all over again. Now, we have used our jetpack to get across to the far right side. We do see a color swapper, and we knew we needed one. We'll go ahead and shoot this panel in the back because it's got red on it. And hey, check it out. You can become a patron by heading on over to patreon.com slash happythumbsgaming. Thanks to our patrons that we currently have, we are able to upgrade some of our equipment, and we're going to be able to start doing some new things soon, which we'll talk about in our game break, which is actually going to be up pretty soon. So if you're watching this uh, currently as it has released, uh, there should be some good, cool information. If this is old video, then this is old news, man what are you waiting for move on we got other things to do no i'm just kidding either way uh who knows maybe you didn't know and oh no i messed up another spice crate i totally messed that up look i oh man so uh, with these i often look over at my notes for each level as you know i'm kind of in an animation or some sort of sequence that i don't need to be paying attention for and for some reason i never really figured out that the space crates always required us to pay attention and i always looked at my notes so my bad i made it all the way through story and still never really figured that out but i got most of them it was just this last level that really I just kind of, I don't know. Whip, whip, whip. Regardless, we've officially beamed in some bricks and built up this lunar space buggy thingamajigger, and we're going to actually roll it right on over this switch and check this out. It actually gives us a nice little... Uh, I guess that's some sort of hover. I don't even know. It's a way across, though. And once we get across, we hop out. And this time, we actually remember to switch on over to our robber and pull out our color gun again because uh, that's certainly been an issue for me in the past. And I'll be honest, there there was an edit there. I <laughs> totally forgot and spent like two minutes running around as the astronaut shooting those panels, wondering why my color gun wouldn't work. But... Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I spend the time editing those out because I just tell you guys that I mess up anyways. And I don't know. It's something about honesty. I just I have a hard time with not uh, sharing those things. So, all right, uh, look at that. We have actually used that little satellite down there as kind of a jumping stone to go ahead and get a little higher. And we used our jetpack with the astronaut to go ahead and get up top. And of course, we had to switch back to our robber to go ahead and crowbar that door open. And inside, we flip the switch, which actually gave us another pressure sensitive switch that we are not quite happy heavy enough for but this lunar buggy thingamajigger is so we'll go ahead and pull i think it's called the lerve or something like that uh, we'll pull it onto the the switch there and look at that beam us up a walkway scotty and he did thank you very much and ooh, we're officially on the old spaceship we are on the big guy now so let's see here what do we got uh over on the right hand side Ooh, a bluesy we'll grab that but i do believe what we need is over on the left yep 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 we're gonna go ahead and uh let's see here Ooh, it's a reference to the alien series i don't know if you guys are old enough or maybe have or haven't seen the movie aliens it is quite scary but uh nonetheless this i do believe is a little homage to the uh, kind of the final scene. So I, I don't want to ruin too much if you haven't seen it. And if you're old enough to watch it and you like scary movies, it's definitely worth a watch, uh, especially since there's some new alien movies in the works right now. That guy who uh, created the original ones is coming back and he's making some more. I think I heard something like three or four or five. There's a whole bunch of new alien movies that are due out. And I think there's one coming out in a couple of months. Uh, in fact, I know there is because I already have a special ticket to get in. So, woohoo! Actually, I, I, I bought a Blu-ray of Alien, the original movie, 
and it came with that. It's not like I got special access or anything. It just kind of uh, was a, a perk for purchasing the movie. But all right, so we have officially activated the green power note up there with the red color gun, uh, which we found over on the left if you missed out. Now we hopped inside by simply walking up and pressing the icon indicated. And look at that. We are getting our strut on in this pretty awesome yellow and black suit. Now, I totally messed this up too, and I edited a bunch out. So if you're spawning puzzle the way it starts looks different than the way mine does don't worry that's just because i messed up i didn't know what i was doing at first i well i did but i, I didn't really know which node i needed to get to so i kind of rerouted it the wrong way but i'm eventually getting it here and all that is really important is the final solution so once i get the final here i don't know why i was trying to switch that one around but once i get the final piece you'll be able to see it and then uh be able to follow it manipulate do the same as me so here we go gotta flip this guy with that way go the other way no so see i didn't know what i was doing I'm being honest, I, this was confusing to me. So, but I figured out, I'm like, ooh, this has got to go there. I got to route this down. Once I get it routed down, then I got to flip. Oh, wait, that, see, that wasn't even the right node. See, according, well, I thought I had to get to the top node, but no, nah, I had to get to the right node. But anyways, uh, oh, what's this? Countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, come on. My packed lunch was in there. You! What have you done? Take a guess, Blackwell. We're going home. No! I will not return to that society of blinkered fools! I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around. Sorry. <laughs> we're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase. That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? That kind of seems like information he probably should have kept to himself, but uh, we'll take that and use it against him. And, you know, we are, we got a little battle with T-Rex, which would normally be a little bit scary, but we have this giant exoskeleton suit that uh, is definitely from the Aliens movie, and this is kind of like that final battle, actually. In fact, there's even, like, a little hole in the ground in the middle. Like, if I'm being honest, this is a great homage or reference to that without being too intrusive or aggressive or rated R, for that matter, but... Uh, uh, or rated RAR, I guess is what we're really rated here, huh? Hmm. All right, so uh, we got the rule of three going here. We have to start off by picking up one of the barrels back on the foreground of our screen. Once we successfully toss it out the old T-Rex, we have to walk up and uh, hit the button uh, required there. And once we do that, it actually rips his jaws open and kind of puts him down on the ground. And you have to approach another icon and then, of course, swing him around. So I kind of struggled with this second part right here. I'm not exactly sure. I spammed the button and I throw him down. And then I walk over, I kind of walk over. I, I, see, I always think that jumping is faster in the motion, but it's not always the case. In this big exoskeleton, it doesn't seem to be. And I spammed the button, I got it all the way to the end, but then I didn't realize I didn't get to the end, and I was like, why didn't I actually throw him? But I, I guess I was like one or two button presses away from successfully completing that spammage. But uh, all right, so uh, we've, got, uh, we got, we've got the jump, which we could use to hop over those uh, little slams as he blams on the ground there. 
And uh, meanwhile, we just got to make our way to the front ground here so we can go ahead and pick up another one of these barrels. But uh, it, timing is of the essence here because he is going to slam the ground down and those sonic booms are going to come at us. We got to jump over those before, well, we got to throw the thing at him before they hit us or jump over them and throw the barrel at him afterwards. Either way, knock him down, spam the button, get up close, spin him around. This time, hit the button enough, Brian. Ready? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Slammed him into one of those giant barrels, and we have one heart left. And thanks, Kowalski. <laughs> I love that. Uh, anyhow, we uh, this is where we struggle a little bit. He, I think he gets like three barrels knocked out of our hands because the timing was just terrible. Oh, see, I messed that one up. Had I not thrown that one, I probably would have been good. But I was hitting the button, spamming it. Like, come on, come on, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And boom, all right, pow, right in the kisser. Now we'll go ahead and walk up and hit the button indicated. And then, of course, rapidly repeat that button until it fills up that meter. And now one last slam o Rooney. That's right. I don't think he's going to make uh, Lego City Undercover 2. Ready? Ready? Boo, you can shout. Rex, you're fired. And Chase, you're fried. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an almost drive. Chase, he's... Huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. Uh-oh. It's the final battle. <laughs> That's right, we've got a handful of baddies that pop up. They're the old red astronauts, or astronauts that got red on them, depending on how you want to say it. And we got to take these guys out. Come on now, we're going to toss them. Toss our partners, do -si do Watch out for Fallen Bricks, whoa! Yeah, you got to watch out. The, uh, the world kind of falls apart right below your feet, so it's kind of fun. It's kind of neat, but at the same time, it's kind of scurry, so watch out. And these guys are kind of fun, too. You <laughs> toss one into another, and they fly all over. <laughs> And look at that, we've got them all, Gandhi, and what do we got next? Oh, no, some more of our, our I guess it's our spaceships falling apart. And what do we got? Uh-oh, it's Rex. We gotta defeat Rex. And no problem, but uh, unfortunately he's got like this weird hovering force field capability. Oh, it's some sort of, some sort of jetpack with a force field, that's cool. But we'll go ahead and take out his minions right quick, and I thought I might be able to toss a bad guy right at him, but that did not work. <laughs> Look at that guy, he flew all over. It's pretty fun, but oh, it turns out you do! You have to toss him at him, and Look at that. I'm not sure why the first one didn't go, but look, he knocks him down, and he comes down, and oh no, he got up close to personal. He is a little bit stronger than we are, so uh, watch out for that. And of course, uh, my best piece of advice for you whilst fighting Rex and his foes, or I guess his buddies, our foes, uh, is to go ahead and use that counterattack for the PlayStation. It's going to be Triangle. For the Xboxers, it's going to be the Y. Why do you ask? Well, I don't know why they changed the buttons. I guess they wanted to keep them separate. Oh no! Watch out for that next step. It's a doozy! Okay, so that's probably going to happen to you. And if it does, you might lose a few studs, but no worries. You spawn right back up top, and we get to go right back at the business here, which happens to be taking out old T-Rex. So I guess it's not T-Rex. He always was riding a T-Rex earlier. And look at that. He can pick me up. And, oh, my gosh. He shoots these cars. He threw me right through that middle hole there, and I started to plummet to my doom. And then it respawned me. But here we go. We got uh, another fight. Like I said, the best piece of advice I can give you whilst fighting him is to go ahead and hit that counterattack for us. It's triangle. And uh, that seems to be the only way that we can really do any damage to him other than tossing his buddies at him. So we'll go ahead and toss another buddy up at him. And once we get all the hearts removed from Rex, we're actually going to see a little cinematic scene. And then we're going to have like this crazy, crazy fall uh, through the atmosphere and back down onto the Earth's surface. So Rex is down. He's cuffed and stuffed. And we are off. Oh, no. You've ruined everything, McKay. But this isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Phew. Boy, that
that was sure awfully nice of him to move along. <laughs> I guess he probably should have steered clear, huh? <laughs> All right, enough of the bad jokes. Uh, we are falling through space and trying to avoid objects and debris, but trying to pick up some studage on the way down. And eventually we're going to come to a stud ring that actually has a character token in the middle of it. And I already mentioned this earlier. It happens to be the Rex Fury character token. And I am not sure you can avoid this one. The camera kind of gets weird and, and I didn't really try to avoid it. I mean, I kind of did it first and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm supposed to get this. But yeah, if you miss it, no big deal. You will have to play the level over again to get it and that might slow your free play process down a wee bit, but that's all right. Uh, the game will still be here. Now, here in a second, we actually get a timer going, I, I think, if I remember correctly. And it's just a matter of, you know, just pressing the X or A button to go ahead and speedily plummet to your doom. That's right. We're going to go ahead. Oh, no. We're seeing everything just break apart. This cannot be good. Hopefully, we got some uh, extra cushy air soles on so when we actually hit ground, it don't break our feet. But, uh, well, I guess I won't spoil it for you. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, uh, Rex coming up soon, shortly. Yeah, we should see that timer popping up soon, too. If I remember correctly. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on, this is a long fall, huh? I could have sped this up a little bit more, I suppose. My bad. This gets a little squirrely, though, too. Check this out. Uh, you have to go through uh, all these objects, laser beams, fan blades, all sorts of craziness. And the good news is, if you hit any of them, it just pretty much spawns you right at the top of the screen. See, like, I just hit one right there. No big deal. Uh, you just get to keep going. So that's nice. Keep on keeping on. All right, watch out for that tree. I should have sung the old George of the Jungle song. I don't know why I went out the jungle, but I should have. All right, here we go. This is when the old Rex, there it is. See, I'm not sure you can avoid it because like I was kind of outside the soikle and I got it anyways, but uh, hopefully you did get it because we are gonna put that character token to use here soon. We actually have to go pay a million studs for it, but that's all right, we've got quite a few. We also have that 2X red brick stud multiplier, which we will uh, we'll get some more of those too. There's, you know, of course, there's the 4X, the 6X, the 8X and the 10X. And there's a whole bunch of other things, too, including that color gun red brick, too. But look at that. Timer is coming down. Three, two, one. Whee! Oh, look at that. Perfectly. It's no good, Dad. We can't reach the parachute release. Excuse me. Did anyone order a hero? Chase, pull that lever. This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? Oh, oh, there they are! <laughs> Congratulations. You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I bet. Rex? <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Ah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> to the yeah that's right the world has been saved the guy gets the girl and it sounds like we get to play some video games too but look at that booyaka show we got the city savior trophy achievement and we also got the rex fury character token so uh we got some strength now that's right we got some muscles we also uh well we got a gold brick for completing the special assignment 
And we also, well, we get to continue the story. So we got a lot of stuff ahead of us. We got some free play preparing stuff that we're going to do. We actually have to make sure you have the Rex Fury. We also have the Color Gun Red Brick. And we got a few other things that we're going to touch base on. So we'll have a little video for that. And then, of course, we'll get off and running with our free play, which will be just the special uh, assignments, which will be a lot shorter, a lot quicker, easier. Have quick links down below in the video description, which, speaking of which, we got uh, links right now for all of our social media pages. So why don't you head on over to those and click those. I'm sure you saw some of our pop-ups during the video. We would greatly appreciate all your support on all those platforms that you partake in. And uh, as for me and this, this is going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Chapter 15, far above the Call of Duty story. And it wraps up the story in general. So uh, off to the free play we go. And and like I said, as for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time.